What's up everybody? Welcome to Alien Training. My name is Chris Robinson. I'm going to be your coach for our journey into health and fitness and beyond. Now we started Alien Training to give you trainers some ideas on exercise selection, programming, the whole nine yards. All this information is yours to use at your disposal to take your personal training or boot camp business and blast it into the next level. If you sign up for one of our memberships right now for just a dollar, it's only $19.95 a month after that, and you'll be in constant contact with our staff, and you'll get these videos on top of our premium videos, which go into a lot more detail. This is just a sample of everything that is included in Alien Training as a premium member. You'll also get all of our videos up front that we've, any video we've ever made, over 50 hours of archive videos when you sign up today. All right, without any further ado, I want to show you guys, this is, one of our pre, this is one of our sample videos. This is a great circuit. All you need is a treadmill for this. This is a little bit different exercises for a treadmill, okay? So all we want to do to get started, we're going to start this treadmill on a little bit of a lower speed, one or two, and you want to work your clients up from there, okay? We're just going to start with the walk. No elevation on the treadmill, okay? Now for your more beginner clients, you always want to start at a lower speed and work your way up. This is a very proprioceptive exercise. It's going to require a lot of neuromuscular coordination, okay? The faster you go, the tougher it is. So we're starting here on a walk. All you want to do is turn into a side shuffle. Make sure those feet don't get too close together and you just want to stay light and you're moving through the side shuffle, okay? This is a great exercise for athletes or anybody who's looking to increase the neuromuscular efficiency, also working through the core here as well. So now we've turned into a back pedal. Athletes stay low, quick feet pumping the arms, eyes focused on one spot and then turn again. Again, try to stabilize the core, stabilize the spine. Only thing moving is the hips and then turn one more time. All right, so now you've got the gist of it. You can come back the same way. Stabilize through the hips, turn, back pedal for your, for your athletes, turn again, stabilize the spine, and turn all the way. All right, so your more advanced clients, pick that speed up a little bit. To make it even more advanced, go a little bit faster. So you're walking, turn, back pedal, turn, walk. As fast as you can now. All right, quick feet to turn around. Trying to move in each plane as fast as possible. All right, so that's that exercise. We're going to take it straight from there and we're going into a treadmill mountain climber. This is a little bit tougher. You're going to be on the end of the treadmill. For your more, your more beginner clients, they can go on the treadmill themselves. Treadmill is off and they're just running. Keeping the knees in tight, abs tight, core tight. You see my spine's moving very minimally and they're just pushing as hard as they can. Now your more advanced clients, flip them over, have them do it going up the treadmill instead. It's a little bit tougher here. All right, make sure that the chest stays over the hands, core is engaged, working through those hips. Now the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna take this treadmill and we're gonna incline it pretty hefty. We're gonna get this incline up. And what you're gonna do now, again, working for a low speed, work your way up Start at a lower speed and advance from there. Right now I have it on one with an eight incline. We're gonna take this incline up a little bit more. Make it a little bit tougher. Again, tailor this to your client's needs, okay? Don't put your beginner clients on this tough stuff right up front. Make sure they can get there first. Progressions is what it's all about. All right, so we're gonna get into this uh, bear crawl position and they're going backwards. They're having to decelerate using their core. Shoulders got to stay tight. We're going to take this elevation up as high as we can now and really put the stress on that core and on those shoulders. All right, so we're right here. From there, drop down to your elbows for your more advanced clients. Push right back up. Have them go through a lot of different movements here while still moving through those feet to increase their neuromuscular efficiency and coordination. You can even go down into push-ups jump out back in jump out back in always staying tight through the core controlling every movement as best as they can all right so we're going to take this all the way back down i'll show you guys one more really cool exercise this is an upper body exercise 
You want this thing completely off, no speed, elevations all the way at the bottom. You're gonna sit in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Sit in the front of the treadmill. It's not moving at all. This is great for any, climber, any climbers that you may have, anybody who's looking to increase their grip strength or their pull strength. They're gonna reach up as high as they can, use your abs and your shoulders to pull it back down. Stop it on the way up. Same thing, pull it all the way back down. Stop it on the way up, reach up high, pull it with your abs and your shoulders on the way back down. You can make it a little bit more advanced. Go one hand, just using the fingertips. It's great for mountain climbers. Stop it on the way up, reach up high, pull it down just with the fingertips, using that lat as well, okay? Use these exercises, plug them into your boot camps, plug them into your personal training workouts, Make your workouts fun and interesting. Your clients will love it. They'll come back every single time. Let us know what you guys think. This is again, sign up for one of our premium videos. You'll get this plus hours of other videos up front. We hope you guys like it. We'll see you soon.